All right, meantime, a busy week of news in the nation's capital. The Supreme Court upholding a case dealing with voting restrictions. The House of Representatives approving a select committee to investigate the January 6th attack on Capitol Hill. Indiana Republicans voting against that measure. This is infrastructure talks continue with the president still trying to get that infrastructure deal across the finish line. We spoke about these issues this week with Indiana Senator Mike Braun and Representatives Victoria Sparts and Trey Hollingsworth. Now you voted in favor of the first 1-6 commission that was proposed, but you did not vote in favor of this select committee. Why not? Well, it's easy to see. The first vote I cast was for a bipartisan committee with an equal number of Republicans and an equal number of Democrats. And that's what I think Americans want. In the face of this tragedy, what they want to see is bipartisan effort to get to the root causes. What we saw this past week was not a bipartisan effort, was instead a Nancy Pelosi-led and selected commission. And that's not what Americans want. We don't need more partisanship in this country. We need more bipartisanship voted against both commissions proposed to investigate the January 6th Capitol riot. Do you want January 6th to be investigated? I actually I was uh, one of the first people who sent a letter to Speaker Pelosi right after January 6th to really look into investigating what's really happened, why did we have such miscommunication between different agencies, but it needs to be done by law enforcement, not in a political way. You know, we cannot be politicizing every issue, and it became so political that it's become unhealthy. So I think what FBI is doing, Department of Justice, what they're doing, what as, you know, Capitol Police is doing, it actually might be much more uh, effective and less biased. Do you support the bipartisan infrastructure deal? Well, I think we should come up with bipartisan deal where both sides negotiate and we can come to some more narrow focused infrastructure bill that both sides can support. And I think the Senate is working on these issues. Unfortunately, the House and our Speaker doesn't want to work on any bipartisan legislation. It's unfortunate. Would you support at a minimum the smaller package that was agreed upon? If in fact it was coupled to what the rest of it is. If it's a gimmick to get that through and then spend a trillion dollars on something just because you decoupled it, um, I'm probably not going to be for that because that means we're borrowing even more money from our kids and grandkids for a whole array of things. And if we do infrastructure and have hard pay-fors, that's different. That's the way we've always done it in the past. Senator Braun there with our Kristen Escal. Meantime, Congressman Andre Carson reacting to Friday's jobs report, saying today's strong jobs report shows our economy is growing faster than at any time in 40 years. He said this didn't happen by chance. He said, quote, our efforts to get Americans vaccinated and create a stronger economic foundation are clearly working. By the way, Congressman Carson will be on Face the Nation later this morning. Coming up next, we'll talk about the Indiana congressman who traveled to the border with former President Trump and also made news this week on the issue of policing in America. Plus, Mayor Hogsett on the rise in crime in Indianapolis, including the incident last weekend right in the heart of downtown Indiana.